In this work, we present a biomimetic robotic skin that resembles human skin, not only in appearance, but also in structure and function. Human skin is composed of several layers, such as dermis and hypodermis, so it is squishy, yet durable and resilient. The developed robotic skin is designed to have a multi-layer structure, made of silicone rubber and hydrogel, which feels like real human skin. This feature is expected to make people feel more familiar when interacting with robots. Hydrogel is a network of hydrophilic polymers containing a large amount of water with electrolytes. We utilized hydrogel as a tactile sensing medium because it can transmit alternating electric current and vibration. We deployed a set of electrodes and microphones on the hydrogel to allow the robots to perceive multimodal tactile stimuli, such as pressure and light touch. Electrodes were used to measure conductivity changes by deformation, and electrical impedance tomography was utilized to reconstruct conductivity images from the measurement data. This video demonstrates that electrical impedance tomography can be performed in real time. Microphones were also used to measure vibrations due to light touches, and passive acoustic tomography was used to localize the contacts. This video also demonstrates real-time touch localization based on passive acoustic tomography. In this design, each sensing element has a large receptive field, so the sensor could achieve a large sensing area with a low receptor density, just like humans' back and thigh. Also, our robotic skin is able to classify the types of touch. We defined a 2D image by concatenating the vibration signals in spectrogram and utilized a simple convolutional neural network to extract a spatio-temporal pattern of tactile stimuli. These videos show the vibration pattern of various contacts and a demonstration of real-time touch classification through the neural network. Furthermore, our robotic skin can be easily repaired even after severe damage, such as incision. Since there is no wire inside the multi-layer structure, its appearance and function can be recovered just by restoring the mechanical and electrical connection of the damaged site. We demonstrated this process using a chitosan solution and a commercial sealant, showing that our robotic skin can be healed like human skin. So, we expect robots to benefit from this repairability and maintenance.